defensive play. Boy, Jabari was great. He is to me a grand assist shot. I did say Raymond Palmer, their corner, played that block perfectly and allowed the defender back in the eight yard line. He ran into Murphy, and that's not somebody you want to run into. But the problem there was when Dallas tried to run out of the initial pressure, we yeah. ran into our own blocker. Yeah. 15 to the 12 to the 11. If he's not ankle tackled by Timothy Sanders, oh. he might have to get down inside the five. Back to Monte Jackson. Now we'll put Dugan in motion way out here to the left. And now we'll ride it inside. Dallas on the fake. Comes to the corner. Can't got hit at the 11. A great tackle. But the foul now is the man in the open field. Give credit to Raven Palmer. Palmer did a great job of reading that one, staying at home. And showed pretty good press back. We're going to give us now third and about 12. Now we'll bring Dallas back into the ball game, go to our regular road and see if we can pick this up. Just don't be foolish with it here. You've got a strong likelihood around the 13. And he got hit by his opposite number, Donatello Brown. Made the stop for the Blazers back around the 12 or 13 yard line. And right now, old Moe's wearing red and black. You've got to go out, cock that back. Foot, hit somebody, get a first down or two to settle this game back. Yeah, and I'd like to use all the play clock right here, too. You've got an entire offensive line. Nice, the Ryan. Did you see that, babe? Safety first. No. Safety first, you blow the whistle. Ball at the 28 for the first down. Little mini bunch formation right into the boundary side of the field for Dallas Dickey. We'll rock. Make it in the middle. Dallas comes right. 30, 35. Cuts up and got a first down to the 39 yard line. Dickey fakes again and comes right. Dallas to the edge to the 45, the 50, and down the sideline. He got hit out of bounds. Which apparently is okay. No, I think Dallas was actually trying to stay in. I think he was trying, but I think he was out. The backer walked up. Let's see how many Valdosta sends at us right now. And our left tackle move, Don Robertson, will get us a five yard penalty. Come on. Beaver complete across the 40 to their 39. We end up with Shaq Paul getting us about six on the play. We're going to put him right at the 40. So we're going to complete across the 40 to their 39. We end up with Shaq Paul getting us about six on the play. We're going to put him right at the 40. So we're going to be not surprised about that. Three to the left and one to the right. Marco Franks is our running back on the 38. And so he's going to take it one. and have a receiver in business. We were slanting Helvin Brown. Trying to run him through a uh, gap that safety a quarter and okay, you know what right there, right right there. Right there. there. Yeah, yeah right Dallas right. just kind of threw that yeah, too hard behind him. On. And luckily there was not a defender yeah, yeah. back there. Yeah, we've we've held them to under a hundred yards in the first half, yet we only lead by three, such is the nature of championship football. Dallas now only six of thirteen. He's had a couple of drops today. Trips left and one to the right. Franks is the running back on second and ten. And we think it, Dallas rolls right to the edge. He cuts up field and he One, dives about a yard short of the first down. Jack nice. Paul was doing nice. a good nice. job of blocking Kenny Moore. They were chicken boxes there with that right side of the four back. Uh, I know. I, know. We got I saw that. <laughs> We'll have to talk to Casey. They can slip in and stumble and stumbling out yeah, there. We've got a wire down. It's Franks awesome. 25, Marco to the 20. They got pulled down at the 16 yard line. Raymond Palmer, the defensive back, and that, he gets that cut made clean. He's running into the end zone. But I kind of like this. The offensive line. I mean, I realize we, we know how good they are, but they have absolutely dominated this football game. Aside from the two pulls. Yeah, that we took around the right side. I bet you it's eight to one yardage. Yeah, and that's where we made our living. And uh, you know how talented Don Robertson is. And the most consistent game in, game out, play in, play out, best offensive lineman in America to me is O'Ryan Howard the most sitting there right beside him. 35. And he had the big run last week that kept the drive alive when Hilliard got injured and had to leave the ball game for a play. Fourth and seven, and we get oh. close, but the interception. Exactly. We are averaging 6.6 .6 yards a snap to their 2.9 at this stage of the ball game. Boy, it's a big drive. You need a first down or two. Right. Right. We've got the win. He's in some trouble. And he'll get slung ragdoll down at around the eight. Guys, after they're driving back seven yards, you might consider blowing the whistle. They just don't do it. 
because I believe farmer progress has been stopped. A loss of two on the play. We didn't exactly block that one as well as we had hoped to. It's second and 12. And we look at the clock. To the 30. Noah Brown, the freshman tight end for Bremen, back in the lineup now as Slate comes out. Two of these three tight ends are coming back next year. That's a good position for us. Pretty good coverage right there. Don't they always seem to have pretty good corners in this program down there? Kenny Moore is one of them. He's uh, not as big. Val Lester usually has those rangy. Moore's 5'9", but he's a football player. I think he went to Lowndes, but if I'm saying that wrong, Val Lester by Jackson, by Jackson, and that's exactly what we needed, Mitch, was a, a nice return there, good field position to start off. Now we need to show something right here. On, we haven't lost the fourth there. quarter all year. We don't need to start. These guys win a few fourth quarters, too. The places where wrestling is big, it's huge. Okay. But it's big, very, very few places. Yeah. Not in the South. Like no, <laughs> not really. And like that, there are a handful, and uh, there's a, two or three really top look here. Close to us, well. Raymond comes to mind with Tony program up there that really get into the wrestling big time, but a lot of places it's do it to keep football, football players in shape on the very and they don't returning the free kick, but we're leading now 19 to 14. You would have, uh, and give that last to credit, that was pretty good deep kick and good cover. Very good. That probably is the best kick of the ball game, really. Looking at their tackle, Franks with 71 yards apiece running the football, and Jackson's now in the game a tailback for us. Leading 19 to 14, fourth quarter, and on first down, Jackson in the middle got a hole for five, got about ten. Third down, Jackson down. exhaled just a little bit. For third and eleven, and this would get you some. But you want to eat some clock, eat, eat some yards, and get there. this thing in the end zone. But they bring in five. Or first down, five. Dickey marks the count, rides with Jackson again. He got Powell driven, yes, good indeed. defensive play by Kenny Murphy, and from the other side, Sherman Watson. Hmm. There's your pair of line And right now, I'm the way things have gone, you're pretty much first in 73. Oh, absolutely. Uh, the one thing you can do if you get down through there 30, Hunter Heck has been awfully reliable this year, but goodness, we'd love to. Jackson is the running back. Dugan looks like we got a little confusion with what the play is, and the play clock is still at 10, so we got a chance to rectify it. Now Dickey will step up and check and change it here. It's second down and seven, maybe six. Not bad. It was a good first down run. And I liked what we did on, on the procedure call. We were showing pass, and we changed out of that and went to the running play. Second and six. Now we're looking like West Georgia. First time this half. Ball of the Blazer, 13. First and 10. We're down one in the fourth quarter. Dickey will move Jackson to the right of the formation. And first down is at the three. We're second and six. Play clock at 15. Dickey will move and get Slade in motion out to the left. Dallas will now move his running back. We will and now Will out. Hall wanted to take a timeout. Better that than a bad play. We will keep it here. 3.14 to go in the game. That last the state 20, West Georgia 19. Devontae Jackson, 20 carries for 120 yards of the afternoon. Dallas Dickey, hurry, but all that a week to go. I'll tell you what, I'll take our chances. Just get us in the end zone, get us a touchdown and an extra point. Twice, you really can't beat it. Really can't get any better. Hopefully, we can keep keep this winning streak, win three more games, and keep on our way to Kansas City. All right. How do you, and as a senior, how do you help this team focus on one game at a time? You just got to do like Coach, Co Coach Hall says, take it one play at a time, one game at a time, and just take it all the way to Kansas City. All right. We loved it. We loved the way the left side of that line dominated, especially. What a go. Congratulations. We'll see you next week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, big guy. Boy, he's special. He's a dandy. All right. I want to boast. Senior out of Oxnard, California. Love Alex in just a second.